Hi, it's Jessica here, Corporate Recruiter. I want to give a really quick tip as you're going through your job search journey. And that is to make sure that when you are creating your resume, that you are making sure that your resume doesn't show it's too broad. A lot of times people have this great experience, but it's very like they were accountant for two years. They worked as an operations manager for a year. Then they were a receptionist. Like, and it's it can be really difficult for recruiters just from the resume to really get an understanding of what you're really looking for. So if you're applying to say an accountant position, but your most recent experience is in as a communication specialist, for example, it's going to be harder for me to really understand, okay, what the relevance is. Like, yes, you have this experience, but you could also go in these three other directions. Why are you interested in this accounting position? Make it easy for the person looking at your resume <laughs> and the recruiting for the job. Just make it easy on them because recruiters, I will tell you, as a recruiter, I know that I literally spend seconds on a resume because there's oftentimes a lot of um, candidates that I will need to review and I need to do it quickly because I have other job openings that I need to work on. Um, so this is also true if you're working with a staffing agency. So when I say staffing agency, I mean um, a company that has um, recruiters that work with multiple companies to place talent um, for their open jobs as well. So they're even going to they're going to be even quicker because they have so many different clients that they're working with. They're just trying to quickly look and see what you're experiencing. If they don't see it quickly, they're going to move on. Um, and then along with that, make sure that you're highlighting the experience that you the experience you want to pull based on what you really are interested in. So if you have experience as an accountant and as a recruiter, <laughs> um, but you want to um, become an accountant, that's the next role you want to take on. Well, you're going to really build out that accounting experience. You know, you're going to um, talk about the... Um, expense reports that you are managing, the um, general ledger, the you're managing the books, you're um, handling cash received, whatever. <laughs> so you're going to highlight all of those things, especially looking at what the job is requiring. You're going to want to pull that in anything recent you're going to want to highlight in your resume. And I shouldn't say downplay the recruiting experience, but I mean, you're going to spend more of your time building out the experience you have as an accountant if that's really what you want to do in your next job. And you're going to take up more space on your resume um, to highlight that. So you're not going to have as much um, information about your recruiting experience because that's not what you want to do, right? Okay, anyway, um, quick tip here. If you have questions let me know but basically just remember to make sure that you're tailoring your resume to the specific job that you are interested in when it gets too broad it takes too long for the recruiter to really figure out what your um, experience is and what you're also interested in um so we may just move on um another thing to think about is that a lot of times recruiters will look into a database of people they have already connected with maybe you've applied to a job in the past or maybe someone has reached out to you in the past for a job whatever but a lot of large companies have these talent pools where they will look to talent look for talent as well and if we're not able to see um what your interests are and it looks like your last position was as a recruiter it's going to be hard for us to really get a sense of what you really want to do and if we have an accounting opening we're probably not going to reach out to you so um, I think that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. Really quick, I'm trying to make my videos shorter because I know that people have short attention spans. So um, this one should be under five minutes and I do hope it's helpful and I will see you guys next time. Bye.